this is what we have built. Well, I guess what we will build. I want to run through. I'm going to preview it. So, ta-da, we have this fancy weather app. And we're using Open Weather API. Super easy to use. Super easy to get an API key. And very useful. So, what I've done, or what we will do, is we're going to make a weather searching app. I defaulted it to Seattle because that's where I went to school. But let's go ahead and type in Austin for Austin, Texas. I'm going to hit submit. And boom, all this weather information. Wind direction's undefined for here, so that means there's little to no wind right now. Okay, and now uh, let's do Boston. Okay. And then see wind direction. It's in uh, it's a it's in zero to three sixty. And then finally, um, oh, let's show off zip codes. So uh, two zero zero one is DC. Let's check it out. Boom, weather in Washington. And there we are. So simple application, simple little site, but it gets you used to using APIs, which is really, really critical and important to be able to do with uh, jQuery and Ajax and JavaScript and HTML. So I'm going to walk through step by step how to build your own. Let's go ahead and get started. I'm going to be just using Notepad. Plus plus, it is completely free and super handy. And we're going to be doing this all within one page. And since that is the case, it's just going to be an HTML page with some script tags. I'm going to go ahead though and put my little header on this. Ooh, Bert Kaiser, that is me. All right, and then let's go ahead and save. And I'm just going to call this uh, weather at HTML. Yes. And save. There we are. All right. Now, we got the initial part of this set up. We can go ahead and start putting in those standard HTML necessary things, right? So I'm going to speed through that real quick. HTML tag, our head tag, our closing head tag, standard components of a site. Body. All right, that should do us on the standard stuff. So we need a few things. One, we need the link to the Ajax library. Two, we need an API key. So let's tackle that now. Boop. And yes, awesome. So let's start with the API key. So we need open weather. I guess I could just go to the site, but I think it's .org. It is. All right. So open weather is what we're going to be using. Super easy to request this. Okay. Let's go away. Um, it gives you some information right here. Sign in. Sign up is where you're going to need to head. Um, and then here is the actual API documentation. Okay, and I know current weather is free, and also the five-day, three-hour forecast is free. And so all you need to do is how to get started or how to start, sign up, get an API key, start using it for free, and all the information will be there. It's a super easy, easy process, thankfully. And another thing we need to do is get a link to the Ajax library. I know what I was using was Google. Here we are. Uh, and I typed in Ajax Library Google, and oh, apparently there is an Ajax Library in Ontario. All right, so I'm going to click here, and we can just grab this right here is what I'm going to copy. Okay, so I'm highlighting that. I'm going to right click and click copy. I'm going to minimize. All right, so where we need that key to go is a tag. Um, we're going to need it in the, did I already add the script? All right. So just in the head tag, we're, I'm going to right click and click on paste and it is a script tag. Um, I might as well add a title to this site while I am here. Whether I am endlessly creative with my titles, that is not true. And then let's do a meta tag as well. All right, and then that's right here. 
and we should, oh, I should have that all within the head tags. Okay. What we're going to do now is start laying out the simplistic body of the site. So to do that, you are going to, um, we're going to start with a div, which is like a, a container in HTML. And in our div, let's have h1 for the title. I'm going to title mine weather search one and then some instructions over our search now to conduct this search itself we're going to use a text input right a form input in html however i am not going to use the word form or the uh, element form i'm just going to use the input itself type and then like i was just saying we're going to use text and value this is just my default you can choose your own if you are not in the u.s this defaults to the u.s by the way so the default search is going to be to u.s state uh u.s cities and i can show you how to mix that up uh when we get further down into the javascript name equals uh I'm going to just name this location because that's what they're going to input. And then I'm going to use the ID to be location as well. And that. All right. And then they need a submit button. So button ID equals submit sounds good to me. Submit and slash. Button. All right. Now. Let's go ahead and just to give it some breathing room from the results, I put a page break here. Right. And then after that is going to be where the results appear. So we're going to use another div ID equals, I'm just going to call it output data because that's where the data gets outputted. And then I'm going to end div. All right. And then we have that ending. Great, 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 great. So far, so good. And that is pretty much the HTML for, um, well, for now. So we're going to go ahead and start on the script, the JavaScript. And I'm just going to put a comment so it's easier to tell. JavaScript. All right. And that's just a comment. That's just for us. So, and let's go ahead and go ahead and use our tags here, script type equals, and then we're going to be doing text slash JavaScript, boom, boom. And let me go ahead and end this. I always end my tags right away, so I'll forget if I don't. Now, inside the script, first off, that API key you got, that's what's going to go here. I'm just going to do slash slash API key. Um, used for open weather. Just to be clear on this, I'm going to put mine below, but you will be needing your own. There are limits and mine could change, so it won't be working, all right? So what mine will be though for now is var API key. So I'm making a variable to do this. I don't want to mess this up, so I'm going to magically go copy it. Copy, and then I'm going to paste it right here, okay? and it needs to be exact. So now I have a variable named API key, and I'm going to go ahead and start using jQuery. So color sign, and then document, Not ready. So obviously that's the start of our function, and uh, this is noting the jQuery. Uh, this function is heavily overloaded all the time, so it does like a dozen different things. Right now we're just asking if the whole document, the whole HTML document, is loaded, is ready to go. And if so, well, we're going to execute some stuff. That should, yep, I always close. All right. 
what we need to do in here is we're going to grab the uh we're going to looking at the submit button so color sign and then in quotes i'm writing hashtag submit the reason there's a hashtag there is because it's denoting that it is an id of an element within the document and then on click so we're going to be listening to this and if clicked what do we want to have happen function boom boom and let me close all that out before i forget and once it is clicked we want to grab the location from uh, the text from the text area that the user entered so var location equals then again this one's going to be hashtag location so we're creating a variable if I can spell it. And then we're assigning it to the value that is within the text box location. We want to grab that value, so dot val, boom, boom. Okay, and that's more standard. Now we're going to allow for entry of zip codes or cities, US zip codes or cities. So I'm just going to note that. How we're going to do that is with an if statement. Didn't hit. So I'm checking if it is not a number. And if it is not a number that or if it is not a number and no so I have a double negative here, not, not a number. So if it is not, not a number, um, I want key to be equal to zip, right? Because if it's not, not a number, it's a number and I want to use a zip code. Else, it is going to be a city, what better be? And we're going to treat it as such. So I'm going to have this thing key, which is going to be equal to Q. Um, and so I should probably title this something other than key. Let's see. Um, uh, I'm just going to put search key because that is what it is. Uh, search key. And I should definitely have it declared up. Just leave it blank for now. That will actually be fine. I'm going to move it down here. All right. So we'll see what this search key is going to be used for in just a second. Let's make sure we lined up all of these. So the next part that we're going to be working on is Let's go back to, I'm going to show you, openweather.api, there we go, and their API. So, what we're going to do for a search is city by name, and Q is going to be our city name. So, we're going to have this written out within ours, and we're going to come back and snag that in a second. Q is going to be what denotes we need, we are looking for a city. Zip is what's showing that we are looking, well, for a zip code. And we're gonna use this search key, we're gonna concatenate it into a string in just a second. And the string is going to be the URL that we need to access this information. So, all right, we got that. And now I think we're ready for the API call. Yep, all right, so after this, we're going to go ahead and uh, we should double check our form as text. Okay, so I'm going to do that. If location does not equal nothing.
So as long as that location doesn't equal nothing, and now we're going to start using Ajax. So we're going to do what I'm putting in here is a dollar sign. Let me go up a bit. Ah. Dollar sign. Dot Ajax. Parenthesis curly bracket. And I'm going to go ahead and do a curly bracket parenthesis before I forget. And then the URL we need, like I was just saying, I'm going to go ahead and whoop, grab this, is going to be up to here. Copy that. Okay. And so now I'm going to use that by going URL equals dot equals URL colon and then paste. Now, two things. I need to add HTT because we want it to be going to the site colon and this two slashes and then you want it in. Oops. Um, I'm going to use single quote readability. All right. Now, this is not going to be all that we are sending as a request. We're going to concatenate it with other stuff. It's going to be a string that is concatenated. So I'm adding a plus sign, and this is where our search key comes into play, right? Remember, we checked if it was a number. If it's a number, it's a zip, and we made search key equal to the string zip. If it's not a number, we assume the search term is the city name, and we made the search key equal to the letter Q, which is just a query. All right, so first we need that. And then we're going to need plus equals, and then whatever the user put in for their location information, right? So I think we have that saved, location, and the variable location. And then we're going to need right here, remember? And maybe, let's pull this out actually. Copy. And we'll just have it blank to start, and then we don't need to declare it in here. So location, and then plus. Now, there's a few things we're going to want to have. If you poke around open weather, you will discover if you're American, you're going to want and units equals imperial um, for your PI calls because you're going to want the imperial numbers to return. There's also one for metric. And then your API key. So this is where I'm going to do and ID equals, and then I'm going to close that quote plus to concatenate it with my variable up here, API key. And that is the full URL. I'm going to put a comma now because we're not done with all of this. Um, let's actually get that over a bit. Now what we need to do is we got to put a data type here. And what do we want returned? I'm going to be using JSON P. That sounds like a name. Um, for the readability, that's what you want to use. All right. And type. What type of request is this? Well, this is going to be a git request. We're getting stuff from the server. We're not providing it with the weather. And then on success, what do we want to have happen? Well, I want this function to run, and I want the data that is returned, right? So on success, the result is going to be data. Okay. We haven't made that function yet, so if you're confused, hang on. I mean, we haven't made it because it's being made here. Da da da. All right. Now, data, what's going to go on here? Variable result equals output data. And this is the function we haven't made. I'm getting mine mixed up. This is the function we have not made at all and we'll be doing momentarily. And then we're going to need to go ahead and do color sign. And then we're going to use a ID, hashtag output, 
data. And remember, that is that is where I specified in the HTML for all of this information to be, well, created, returned, put into uh, HTML result. What's result? Result's going to be the return of whatever output data function does, and we'll be making that function in a sec. And then I'm going to go ahead and do other sign once again, and we're going to go output data dot val. This is the main function. Woohoo! We got that down. I'm going to make sure to save everything real quick. All right. So we've been making real progress, obviously. Let's go ahead and check out the site. What you need to do is you're going to need to find where you saved this file. So I'm going to go down here. Boom. Oh, I can just click folder. And pada, mine's actually right there. I could click on downloads too. Wherever you saved it though, that's where you will need to go. Ta-da, beautiful. It's not gonna have functionality yet, right? Hit submit, and that's because we're not done. So let's go ahead, close that up, and get back to this. Now, we need to add the function that we call right here, output data. So I'm going to go beneath all of this. I hope I lined those up right. We'll find out. Uh, beneath all of this, I need a... Does everything close? Yes, okay. Um, I need a function. So function output data. And then output data. Um, and then data, just like here. It doesn't have to be the same, right? The parameter doesn't have to be the same. Um, when we're using it, but that's fine. All right, keeping it consistent, I find makes it uh, more clear. All right, and then I'm just going to note here: return string of all the desired data. What I mean by this, actually, let's go ahead and try. I'm going to just type one out to show. So here we are. I'm going to just paste and then weather. And then I want to do Q equals Seattle, right? And then I'll leave the metric alone, but I should have copied the API. So I need and API equals. Here, I'll just take all this because I'm just going to demo copy and I need all this paste and I need all this copy. And now I'm going to undo that so I don't mess anything up. Okay. And paste. Let's see if I got it, the stuff. Yes. And so this is what the response is. It, that might be difficult to see. This is what the response is. Coordinates the weather, right? And how we access it is by using this information. So it's an object. It's an object of objects, of arrays of objects. And you're gonna see me use these terms when bringing up this data, like weather and main, okay? So let's go ahead and do it. Voila, all right. Now, all of this is just gonna be returned because we're having it returned right here to equal results. And then we're outputting results into the HTML output data um tab so let's go ahead and return and i'm going to put it all within its own container and you can pick yours but i said mine's going to be h2 right here for the title-ish area whether in and then bus right i'm closing the quotes data name and this will be the city name that was entered or even if it was entered as a zip code will still return the city name that that zip code belongs to. H2. And then I'm going to go ahead and do a plus. And then I'm just going to keep going here. Um, they do return some image information that I'm using as a little icon. And 
I thought that was kind of fun. I needed to concatenate it with a URL to make it work. I think it's entirely worth it. Org slash IMG slash W slash and yes. Notice the quotes here. I have a single quote here. I'm not done. I need my whole URL in quotes. These quotes close it for the JavaScript, right? Because now I'm going to concatenate this with some of the stuff returned to us. Data dot weather and then what part of that? The, that's an array, so I want the weather zero and then I want dot icon. Now that will give us the name. We need to concatenate that with the string PNG. Okay. And then I want to pick my width of it. So oops. That's the end of the URL, but now I'm going to pick the width. Width equals 100px. I won't need that. Boom. And that is that full image tag. Now, let's keep it going. And I'm going to set my fonts to be an H4 heading size, the rest of this. And now I'm going to, for each one of these, I'm just going to put the label for it and then the actual information. I'm separating each one of these out on a line because I think it's more readable. And data from servers is usually returned uh, like this, like an object. So it's kind of cool to see how you really can often navigate it on your phone. Will be very frustrating and there are some servers depending on the languages you're using that it won't be quite as clear but this one in particular is a good learning tool and many of them are and the only reason i know the units for pressure is i looked it up on their site maybe i should pretend like i just knew that but not true it's hpa I'm going to close out my H4 and then my div because we made it. And then I can finally close the quote for real with semicolon and looks like that is our function. All right, let's do a quick scan through here and then we're going to test it out. We got yes. Search key quiz. I'm putting semicolons there because I like them. And then need a comma there that I looked. And I'm gonna need a comma here too, because this is one ongoing clump. Okay, I'm sure I missed some, but let's go ahead and hit save, save. <laughs> and then I'm gonna go do what I did before and open it up. Weather app. Uh, I'm going to use my default Seattle and hit submit and nothing. And this might happen. So what I'm going to do is go to inspect and let's see council up. Oh, I'm missing something on line 57. Okay. So let's take a look. Mm, I see it already. Uh, addition signs needed. Did I miss any others? Those look okay. All right, so let me hit save and go back here. Let's refresh it. Okay, stop. Uh-oh, I think we have another problem. Line 26.
let's just put that there for now. Let's try it that way. Oh, well, that seems to solve it. Okay. And submit. Oh, I have a space here. Okay. Oh, yeah. Definitely no space. Don't do that. <laughs> so I wasn't paying attention. And again. And we got it. So it's always kind of hit and miss. Let's do Austin. And here, I'll split them. Austin, Texas, that is. Um, I don't know. How about Nome, Alaska? Do they got that on here? Oh, yeah, even. All right. And then let's use a zip code. So 98105, maybe. And that works as well. And you can do a whole bunch of stuff. You can make it change according to the weather, right? Maybe if it's clear skies, it's light blue, so on and so forth. But yeah, this was a, just a fun little experiment. I'm going to post all of my code um, beneath the video, so in the, de in the description. Take a look at it, fool around with it. Make sure to get your own API key, because mine's probably not even going to work for you. Um, and yeah, hit like, hit subscribe if this was helpful. It gives me warm fuzzies. It solves world hunger, blah, 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 blah. Go and code. Is that an ending? I guess.